What up, bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Air Warrior's Destiny. This is an air-powered pump blaster, like kind of like a mag strike, 20 round clip, fully automatic, super fun blaster. Let's get into the review. Included is the blaster itself, the clip, and some darts. So it's kind of sort of like a mag strike, but I'll go over the externals here. Up front, nothing really special. It doesn't have an in-strike tactical attachment point because it's not in-strike. It's not a nerf blaster. It's Air Warriors. Moving back to the clip port. This is a clip, not a magazine. There is a difference. It's not really that important, but there is a difference. I think this clip looks a little funny because it has air restrictors inside it. I'm comparing it to most other nerf and foam flinging clips. They usually try to reduce the weight and the manufacturing annoyance of these things by not doing that. So that's odd. But the air restrictor's in there, so it's not in here, so... That sounds freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the included clip holds 20 rounds and it's a staggered kind of like a double stack design after you load that you can just slide it in It does stop you when you put it in so you can't put it in too far if you smack it You can get it to go in but they say no once you absolutely stop you do not continue No means no bro. That's why they said no and not yes This review is getting super awkward, but this insertion is pretty easy to do um, I think it's a pretty high capacity clip there The blaster doesn't have any tactical rails or anything really going on that I need to point out um, down Here's the pump. It's oversized pretty comfortable. This whole blaster is pretty oversized I'm a pretty long dude, so I might be making the scale look a little bit weird, but it's a nice size grip and to pump you, you just pump. I'm sure you're familiar with that action. It is worth noting the overpressure loud is pretty audible. If you can hear that, it's it's leaking out of the back. That's the overpressure valve saying you can pump all you want, but you're not putting any more air in there. That's the point of the overpressure valve to make sure you don't blow up your, your tank or bladder. I haven't opened this, so I don't actually know. I assume it's a bladder. The pump shaft is pretty rigid. Sometimes they would flop around if they're cheaply made or anything, but this one's pretty easy to work. It's connected to a cool little like vertical grip. So after you pump, you can kind of hold it like that. Uh, nothing else really to point out. The grip is pretty comfortable, oversized. I complain about this all the time, but that's a solid one. But the cycle rate, is really fast. Even if it wasn't moving quickly, if you see because of the staggeredness, it shoots really fast rate of fire and it sounds really cool. <laughs> but nothing else really to point out. Um, this orange button, this blaster did not come with a manual, so I can't confirm what they're calling this thing unless it's on the box, which I didn't read. Lay whoops. But when, after you fire a few times, you can get the loading thing and some of the system to kind of think, oh, am I halfway through the clip or am I not? So this appears to be a reset button. So after you push that, it'll just go back to normal. I shot it quite a few times without that and I didn't break anything. So not sure if it's completely necessary, but nice to just kind of dump the, the tank and empty it. Firing again is pretty easy. You front load the clip like that, put it on in there. You pump it up until you hear the overpressure valve uh, start releasing pressure, and then you pull the trigger and it goes pew pew really fast. Pump her up. <laughs> Burst firing. So firing this blaster is so much fun. The rate of fire is <laughs> negligent discharge, whoops. <laughs> Not even near the trigger, this thing just, <laughs> it's farting. But the rate of fire is really fast. You can just dump it and it sounds so cool. Like this is one of those where the sound isn't affecting the blaster's like performance, but it's way more fun to use because it sounds awesome. Burst firing is also really easy and sounds really sweet just to go pop, pop, pop instead of just blowing it all right away. But you can do either. The firing velocity though is a little bit on the lower end. I chronoed it with the Air Warriors darts and I got an average of 63 feet per second, and I chroned it with Nerf Elite darts, and I got an average of 68 feet per second. The Elite average is pretty close to the normal uh, 70 FPS, but the 63 with the Air Warriors darts is a little lower than average. I think that last batch of Air Warriors uh, blasters, like the Brute and stuff like that, were getting like 68 um, to, to 72 with the Air Warriors darts, so this does seem a little bit low. But it's full auto, so who cares? And unlike flywheel blasters, when you have a little bit of bog down, so your first shot in like a six round burst, um, your first shot gets really fast and then it drops off, this doesn't experience that. All of them are pretty much the same velocity. That's just because of the different firing, that, but it, it, it looks so cool. Just <laughs> This is one of those reviews that I don't even think my opinion is going to affect anybody. After you watch the, the firing demo, you're either gonna want it immediately or you're just gonna say, that's not really for me. It's kind of a specialty tier blaster. Like it's not something I'd recommend as a primary because after you blow it all, it's kind of cumbersome to reload. I haven't seen these things sold separately yet. So reloading that would take a little while and then to pump it up. But as like a specialty blaster, just to 
<laughs> it, the rate of fire is awesome. And for people that want to use full auto blasters and you know the higher rate of fire blasters, but you don't want to deal with batteries and flywheels, an air pump blaster like this um, is, is awesome. So my opinion is really positive for that particular role. I wouldn't use one as a primary, but I would definitely like strap one on a sling if I could somehow secure this clip so it didn't accidentally fall out. It doesn't have a magazine release like most external box mags, so that's an issue. Legitimate clips don't really have that built in to any blasters I'm aware of, um, so that's it's not like a problem, unless you try to sling it. Um, but yeah, hopefully just seeing it in action gives you the idea of whether or not you'd like to buy one. Hopefully I've provided all the information, covered everything, so you know whether or not you'd like to buy one. I think it's super fun though. I'll put a purchase link in the description box below. That concludes the review. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, Stay tactical.